Are you sure? Because sometimes people say they're out the door when they really haven't left yet. Those people are horrible, horrible liars. See you soon. Simpson, not so fast. Hold up one end of this poster. <laughs> With this mechanical marvel, we'll have this poster level in under three hours. <laughs> Ooh, and for a little excitement, how about a plum bob song? Clear your schedule before you use the plum bob. Okay, Maggie's had her bath, dinner's on the stove. <laughs> Dare I pop a cork? Mom, Mom, my costume for the science play is all wrong. You said you were a seahorse. A male seahorse with a pouch. Now what? Eat your carrot and pea medley. Like Roomba. Hey, there's wood underneath this linoleum. Oh, just go play outside. Outside? You're lost. Hey, Martin. Martin, who's your new friend? Mother, don't blow this for me. Fine, I'll just go sit and talk to his mother. Where is she? I'm here by myself. Simpson, are you here unsupervised? Yeah, and so what? I'd lose the attitude, Sylvester, alone. <laughs> well, finally, a laugh out of Lou. Son, kids aren't allowed on their own anymore. <sighs> what did Bart do now? I was playing nicely in the park. Bart, how could you? What? Your children need to be supervised. Take her away, Bart. I, uh, I get carsick in the front. Judge, I don't understand. When I was a kid, we used to go out and play and not come home until dark. I see. Bailiff, incarcerate Marge Simpson's mother. <laughs> Thanks for ratting me out, Marge. <laughs> you want to know who should be in jail? He weighs 240 and smells like onions. It is not within the purview of this court to determine how fat and smelly your father may be. Woohoo! Mrs. Simpson, 90 days. Oh! <gasps> Hey, kitties, you got a new ball of yarn. That guard is awfully slammy. Newbie's on top. Oh, where's the ladder? Homer, I think you're supposed to cook sausage. What's the point? Well, hi there, Homer. I know a time like this is when a man really needs his neighbor. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I really am the richest man in town. Not rich in money, but in what really matters, pity. Kirk, where's Middlehouse? On the leash, baby, on the leash. Hey, newbie, nobody touches the new James Patterson until Solar reads it first. <laughs> she wants you to pick it up. <laughs> Anybody else want a taste of blue thunder? I do, yeah. Okay, Homer, I just changed all the linens, diapered the dog for modesty. Oh, Flanders, it turns out there's a good side to you after all. Well, sir, maybe I know a little bit about what it's like to lose the lady of the house. <laughs> Dad, if this is what they send when Mom goes to jail, just imagine what happens when you kick the bucket. Oh, man, that's gonna be so awesome. My first prison flower. Can it be? Am I starting to like it in here? Exercise time! Ooh, I never have time to exercise. Mom, I really, really miss you. Also, I have a field trip form that needs to be signed for school. I think if I mail it to you at the prison, it's still easier than getting it from Dad. I want to talk to Mom. Can you send me a shift for show and tell? Preferably with blood on it. <laughs> Eight o'clock, lights out. Really? Eight o'clock? I get to go to bed? I don't have to clean a sink full of dishes or write a paragraph with topic sentence for Homer? <sighs>
Hey, uh, are there any more chocolate chip muffins? Sorry, Dad. The only ones left have caraway seeds. Oh, I miss your mother so much. Shockingly, these gift baskets haven't solved anything. Marge, your positivity is contagious. I'm starting to believe I really will show everyone. Simpson, you got a visitor. Tom, oh, gee, now, it's a shame to go inside. Mrs. Simpson, I got you off on a technicality. Since your husband never filed for a birth certificate, Bart isn't legally your son. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? How about that? Why aren't you saying anything, Marge? You're free! Free! I have 90 days. I was promised 90 days! Now you have to give me more time. Wait, hold on! Hold on! No, you don't! Sorry, homie. I can't go back yet. Just tell me where the soap for the dishwasher goes and how do I... Marge would rather stay in prison than come home to me. I have to re-examine my entire life. I've got to change. Show Marge I can help around the house. More than just turning up the TV when she vacuums. I've got to become the perfect homemaker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I was doing so great, but it turned out I was a secret alcoholic. We're on this side of the tree. This side of the tree. This side of the tree. Are you as sick as I am of having grown-ups everywhere you go? Mm -hmm. I say we sneak off to the park and have fun by ourselves. Great idea. I'll text my mom. <gasps> my jitterbug senior phone! <laughs> I really miss my family. I thought they were letting you out. I just wasn't ready for the outside. I didn't realize how much I needed a break. But maybe not a prison break. Prison break? Prison break! Yeah! Time for unsupervised play. I'm going down the hot slide in shorts. I'm gonna freckle. I'm gonna ride the hobby horse English style. <laughs> I had to do whatever it takes to get you to leave. So I dressed up as a prison guard. I know things won't always be perfect, but they'll be better than fighting off prison inmates in a tornado. I believe you. And I want to go home. Don't worry. All the kids are accounted for, except for uh, Rafe Wagham. Well, I have a sad call to make. Ah, I'm busy. I need some spices from the pantry. I'm coming too. Oh, you're pathetic. Let me in. No, kids, give your mother a little piece of. Oh. Uh... Geez, ever since I got sprung from the hooskow, you kids have been kind of clingy. No, Mom, we're just really glad to have you back. And we're not nuts or anything, but please don't let the refrigerator door block my view of you. Ah! Bart, would you like some extra bacon? Sure would, Mom. Okay, but you owe me. Sorry, sorry. Force of habit.